is Tatiana Monet. And I'm walking my dog. So if you hear like panting or any outside noises, that's what that is. But I got something to say. So I have been through, this has been a really heavy mental week for me. I mean, just intense. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people can attest to that as well. I think that some things that I have been praying on have been working out and a lot of times when you pray for things and you're not necessarily praying specifically to where they turn out you know with how you interpret they should turn out or you know how you expect it to then you kind of get thrown for a loop when you start to see that shift in your life and that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing shifts in many different areas of my life and I'm starting to realize that it's based off of things that I've been praying on, you know. Uh, one thing, in, can you please drive? One thing in particular is my, is what, what every woman is focusing on, you know, with their love life. And a lot of times you think that you may have to come to a decision with bitterness anguish desperation you know but i don't have to do that if it, it felt you know if this car circle around me and try to holler at me one more time i swear to god <sighs> jesus christ um anyway but i was at peace with it and when i felt content with it it made me start to get back to me and i needed that because you have so many distractions in life and it's good to it's good to when you go through a hard thing use that as an opportunity to get back to what you already had going on or just you know begin to get back to yourself come on Layla so I had to just share that but as far as my little walk is going let me let me say this if you know you look good right you know you attractive, you know that that you keep yourself put together, you know that you stand out to people for good reasons, not because you look like a booger wolf or you know, you you a butterface, like you just completely unpleasant to look at. If those things are not the case and you know you look good, why do people think that it's okay to come up to you knowing you don't qualify to come up to me? That's not a <laughs> That sounds so self-centered. It's not, it, it's really not, you know, a conceited thing, but it's, you gotta compare like items. How about that? And I just think that some people be reaching really, really. I mean, I, I give them credit for the bravery, for stepping up and being like, hey, excuse me, you know, like they're not trying to run no game as far as like how they reel you in, but you know, they, they pleasant, you know, they come to you respectfully, polite, all of that good stuff. But then if you hanging out your best friend car, if you on foot and you ain't walking something like a dog or got trash going to the trash bin or something, and you just have... <laughs> You just have yourself and you look unkept. You look like you just woke up without a purpose today. Why are you coming to me? You know, I know they say that we are, we attract what we give off, but please go. We attract what we give off. I'm not giving off that I just woke up looking like I don't care about myself. I'm not giving off that, you know, I'm need, I'm in need of the essentials of being a human being and being secure within myself you know i'm not trying to holler at somebody who i know got so much more than what i'm qualified to give and that may that may sound different compared to some people but i just feel like don't be don't do that don't be trying to holler at people and you know you you got a lot of work to do you know like just I'm not saying people shouldn't put themselves out there, but you, you're trying to come up to everybody, to everybody. And it's just like, do it look like I would want to talk to you? You know, like if, if, I, if my hair was all over the place, if my teeth were green, if, you know, hey everybody, if, if I had just no self-care at all, 
the last thing I'm finna do is be trying to talk to somebody and get them to take me seriously because I have not packaged my brand. <laughs> I, I have not made myself look appealing, you know, for somebody to seek interest. And you have to do that. I'm tired of walking around seeing people coming out the house like they don't care about themselves. It's one thing for your hair not to be done. I told y'all I'm getting out of breath. It's one thing for your hair not to be done. It's another thing for, you know, you. I'm not saying you got to come with certain types of clothes or whatever, but at least look like you bathed. You know, look like you bathed. Look like you, you just haven't looked like you haven't been stuck in a hole in the dark for three years before you come to somebody i'm just i'm tired of it and i say that to say it's just been so many guys that come up to me that are severely unattractive that it just it made me look at myself and i shouldn't i shouldn't i'm human you know whatever but and i'm not judging folks but i'm saying that to say you can't get mad at me when when I can't read that right now, Daddy. Remember? I know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> um, but when you have, I'm trying to relate to people because it'd be things that, especially with COVID and stuff like that, that a lot of times people just like to hear from other people. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not naming names. I'm not saying anything that's, that's rude. I'm sharing thoughts that I know people have every day. But what I'm saying is, I would like for people to show or have a, a better appreciation for their quality of life when they're interacting with other people. Like whatever, whatever you got going on that may be toxic or unfavorable or anything like that, stop trying to put that off on other people and stop holding them accountable for them not being receptive to what you have to offer. You know, like you show you can you can just love on yourself when you love on yourself that emits automatically to other people you know you it, it, it's like it's infectious and people can see that and that's something that's magnetic to where you ain't got to go out there and see you know what people are offering and you have to you have to understand that not everybody is meant to accept you you know, not everybody is meant to be in your circle, be in your corner, because people have preferences, like how I have preferences of how I like to be approached, or I may have preferences on on the type of guys that I may like or something like that. Everybody has preferences, preferences of style, stuff like that. So if, if somebody turns you down because you're not their preference, you making it their fault? I've never understood that. I've never understood that. I've let guys down as nicely as I can, and some of them be butt hurt about it. You mad at me because I don't want you? I don't get it. Like, if if I try to talk to a guy and he's not interested in me, I'm gonna just look at it as okay, I'm not his type. You know, I'm not gonna get mad at him and be like, ooh, you this and you that. It's like, no, this person has a preference. You know, it's one thing to to be rejected because someone just isn't into you. It's another thing for them to be disrespectful. You know, now if somebody just like bleep de bleep, get out my face, da da da. It's like whoa, where'd that come from? You know, but what I've been noticing, and I've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race, that that gets me emotional. When people are faced with difficult situations, they always tell you to hide it. They always tell you to to only show the good because people are not accustomed to dealing with difficulty with others and dealing with awkwardness in situations with others and we have to we have to make sure that we learn how to navigate through that we can't only just deal with good stuff all the time or show people that hey I only want you to see the good things. Like, who are other people for you to have to hide all of this stuff? Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. You can't. You see, it's rubbing off. See, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes. <laughs> um, you have. You have to make sure that 
when you living for yourself, you're not living on somebody else's terms, you know, like the good, the bad, the ugly. I mean, this world isn't built just off of good things. Some amazing things have happened because there are bad things going on in the world. So why do we have to mute that? There's healthy ways of showing that, okay, this is a real effed up situation, but I'm making it. It may not be perfect, it may not be pleasant, but I'm making it. You know, like we, we can't keep hiding no more. When, get out of the street, young lady. My dog is crazy as a road lizard. You can't keep hiding when things are bad and then you judge others because, you know, they don't know how to deal with you in your bad time. It's because we're not, we're not exposed to that. We are brought up to have this strong exterior. We are brought up to, you know, not let people in as a defensive mechanism. And I get it because we have to survive. But there are times where we have to pick and choose between surviving and living. Everything can't be a survival tactic. Not every single thing. I love y'all. Hey, I'm sorry. I can't look at the comments as I'm walking. And I, I gotta look at my surroundings because I know I'm important. So if something happened to me, I know my loved ones will not like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm walking my dog. That's my little doggy. And I'm so glad that she walks on her own because she wasn't really doing that. But yeah, I love y'all. Whoever said love y'all, my cousins, my daddy and all that. I love y'all. <laughs> but you, you can't just sit here and think that because you you don't navigate through your feelings that things are just going to work out for you because you following the constructs of society. You can't do that. Not everybody is meant to learn how to deal with you. And that's okay. That is okay. Different strokes for, for different folks. But what I feel like is unacceptable if, is if you have to completely surrender who you are to make other people comfortable. No, people have to learn how to be comfortable with uncomfortable. And I'm, I'm not saying that that's something that can happen overnight, but that's definitely something that I feel like as human beings, we need to work on over time. Because you wanna call somebody sensitive for being in tune with their emotions, yet people who aren't really in tune with their emotions, you know, you call them broken and, and, and they're disconnected and stuff like that. No, everybody is different. So just because something is unfamiliar to you, just because something is different, just because something is unfavorable, it doesn't make it wrong. You know, bad things, situations that we go through, our hardships and all of that, some of that stuff is uncomfortable, but so is life. You know, we're not hiding life. We're not in the house all day, every day, besides COVID. You know, we're not putting our life in park for the good things. So why do we have to put so much effort and energy into critiquing how we go through the negative things when we we hit with a lot of that every day and that's that's all i'm saying i just really want people to be free with themselves be free with how they think how they act how they feel as long as you finding a way to be progressive you know move forward work with others better and it's not always going to be based off of a good premise you know and we have to uh oh we have to <laughs> right and yeah uh-huh mm -hmm, uh -uh, no 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 you can't walk with me um <laughs> see i told you but see i said it in a comedic way but i wasn't disrespectful to the man I just said, no no you can't walk with me you know yes i understand i, I think my dad commented yes i understand that life isn't fair and in a perfect world, people would be completely understanding. But I feel like you can't operate off of trying to seek that. You can't operate off of, well, because other people aren't accepting in the world of whatever this is, I'm, I'm gonna refrain from doing it because that's how miracles happen. That's how great things, like, think about it. Decades ago, the internet was never a need, right? The the, the things that we really pride ourselves off using, like cell phones and all of that stuff. Several years ago, no one, nobody cared about that stuff. Hey, Kai. Nobody cared about that stuff. And people pushed the envelope. They went against the grain. They took a risk. And they said, forget the status quo. Forget what is common or what the stereotype is of this typical norm. They went against that. And then they made change. Some things take time. Some things will always be taboo. But 
you can't live off of the you can't live off of the fact that you basing it off of what everybody else thinks. You got to do you regardless. You got to make sure that you're good. So if you're not the type of person that you want to hold everything in, don't be that. But find a positive way to activate that. That's all I'm saying. You got to be you got to be so unconditionally you that even if it makes other people uncomfortable, that it is what it is. We ain't here to make people comfortable. What's the phrase? Apply pressure? Because people ain't considering you to be them. So, you know, and it's not at anybody's detriment if you're being who you are. That's all I'm saying. Whew. I just had to get that out because I've seen a lot of foolery today. And I was just looking like, wow, there's so many people out here trying to be something that they're not. It blows me. And so many people out here are struggling. They're insecure. They don't like themselves. They don't like how life is going. And they feel like they have nowhere to turn. So they channel that into fake material things or, you know, things that don't have any real substance. And that's what they showcase. And, and that's why, to me, it's hard to believe what I see on social media because you can manipulate a camera to make it do what you want to do, to make people see what you want them to see. But then when it's something that's real, people hide that. But then you want that same respect. No, no. You, you got to stand up for yourself and do what's right by yourself. And even if it makes people uncomfortable, at the end of the day, people who love you, that's who's going to be there. That's what matters. And if ain't nobody else there, you still got yourself. And the Lord, and if you got a pet. No, 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 we're not going that way, honey. We're going this way. She never want to walk on the sidewalk. She's too good for the sidewalk. But the sidewalk is safe, you know? You can't make speed bumps over here like that. No, 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 young lady. So, yeah, I just had to share that because I want our people to be more in tune with their authentic self. I really feel like that's necessary. I feel like, especially because of this pandemic that we're trying to escape from, that people have been put in uncomfortable uncomfortable positions but have created such beauty out of it you know we got a lot more entrepreneurs we have a lot more creative businesses that are flowing and stuff like that so i just feel like if we can do that in a bad time how come we can't do things like that for ourselves you know treat yourself how you would treat your business and i'm not saying that I don't have things to work on. Everything that I'm saying are things that I'm trying to do for myself, too. You know? That's all you can do. I'm enjoying this walk, y'all. It's nice in Atlanta. It's sunny. It's a little windy. That's why I got my jacket on, because I'm always cold. But, yeah, you know? I just, I just want to see real stuff. You know? Like, as real as these trees out here. As real as my dog. I want to see real stuff and maybe that means not being on social media maybe that means you know not exposing myself to certain environments so that whatever is around me is something that i'm comfortable with and you people got to be comfortable with doing that too you have to be comfortable doing that switching up your environment it ain't it ain't no consolation to nobody else sometimes you have to manipulate your environment to make it work for you so that you can be at peace it shouldn't be the other way around it really shouldn't because the people that you manipulate in your situations for what's the reciprocation riddle me that what's the reciprocation it don't matter how close they are to you it don't matter how long you've known them it don't matter what they've done for you people grow and adapt and if people can't be comfortable with who you are now or who you're <laughs> or who you're becoming then who's really at a loss here, you know? You got to make sure that each day you wake up and go to sleep knowing I may not be perfect, but I'm happy with myself, you know? I may not be at the top of my game today, but I'm still awesome. You got to do that. And that's a self-discovery journey that you got to be willing to go on. You know what I'm saying? Because only you can really do for you and go hard for you. Nobody else is obligated to do that. So, that's what I had to say. 
I uh, I just really want people to be happier with themselves and let that manifest in their environment. Because then, that's how change can truly shift if everybody on that same wave. So, that's it, world. Thank you for listening.